In this video, I'm going to be showing you MWF Pro Suite, a Revit plugin that allows you to automate 3D modeling of wood and LGS framing, engineer, customize and coordinate framing models, generate framing takeoffs, cut lists and shop drawings, export manufacturing data to CNC machinery. Let's go! So what does this actually look like in Revit? Well, you take your model and then I'm going to be showing you in the first step how you can frame all of the walls in just a couple of clicks. Then we're going to be moving to floors and frame those in just a few clicks. Then we're going to be framing the roof with, again, just a few clicks. And finally, I'm going to be showing you how to generate shop drawings. And yeah, you guessed it, just a couple of clicks. So MWF uh, Pro Suite is a Revit plugin. You can find it up in the cards above. And then also I'm going to include a link just below the description so you can check it out there and you can try this for yourself. If you're looking for a solution for framing in Revit, this really optimizes your workflow and the customization capabilities are endless. And full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. So now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And this is the project that I'm going to be using. As you can see, it's this kind of mountain cabin, looks really cool. And we're going to be using this for the demonstration. Now I have tiled views here. So we have a nice 3D view. And then also here we have this 3D framed view. And what I've done here is I've basically hidden all of the regular kind of model elements and we're only going to see framing as we're creating it in this view it's only it's going to appear over here okay so when you install the MWF, you're going to see that you get an extra tab here in Revit. And here we have all of the tools. Now I'm going to start off with the walls. So let me go here to MWF and switch to the wall module. Here we have all of the wall tools. Now I have already set up the templates. So the templates allow you to basically preset all of the uh, options. So when MWF recognizes a wall, it knows which type of framing it should put inside of that exact wall. And then when it sees uh, or recognizes another wall, it's going to generate different framing according to the properties of that wall. So with the template set, what we need to do is just select all of the walls. Now I'm just going to switch to this view. It's a little bit easier to use. And I'm just going to make a broad selection just like this, go into filters, and then let's check none and check only the walls just like this hit apply okay and then let's also isolate them so we can see all of the walls here just like this you can see we have the regular walls and we have the curtain walls however MWF is going to recognize the difference and obviously it's not going to be framing in the curtain walls those will stay in as either windows or uh, doors or openings for windows and doors okay so now let's go back here and let's find the quick create tool and once we click this it's going to start the process and in just a matter of seconds it's going to generate all of the framing and as you can see, all of the framing has been created and we can view this in the other view that we have here. Now, as I've mentioned a bit earlier, we had these templates that are informing which wall or which framing we're going to get for which wall. So just to show you what that looks like, uh, here we have the template manager. And if I open it up here, you can see I have the demo uh, templates. And we have a couple of templates. The reason why we have two is because we have an exterior wall that's a bit thicker. It has a structural layer of uh, 140. And then we have the interior. So that's this wall here, interior walls. Uh, those have a structural layer of 89 millimeters. So that's why we have two of these. We don't have any other walls. So we've created these two templates. And then also uh, you can see here in the template map is well, basically this is all mapped out. So we have the wall types and they're mapped to their respective templates, which we've set up. And now MWF knows which framing type or which framing template to apply to each wall type. And as I said here, if I select any of these walls, go into edit type and go into structure, you can see we have that 14 centimeter or 140 millimeter thickness of that structural layer. So that's for this one. And then this one has 89, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so 8.9 centimeters. 
Next, let's do floors. So what I'm going to do first is just go down here and reset temporary height isolate, and then I'm going to switch this to the floor module. And now in this case, we're not going to be doing the ground floor. It's probably going to be concrete and not wood. So let's select this upper floor just like this, and then go to MWF. And here we don't have to use the quick create. That's only for multiple elements. Here we only have one floor, so we can just go to create, and then that's going to to open up the template selection option or menu. Here I'm going to select wood, I'm going to check on frame it now so it does it immediately and then let's click on create. As you can see we have now framed our house and here in this 3D view we can see the framing for that floor. And now the next stop is the roof. So for the roof let's switch here to the truss mode and then I'm going to take a look at the roof now. Because we have such a simple roof, I think we're good to go with a truss rafters. So let's click on create. And then here we have to pick out a template. So I'm just going to go with this one and then click create. And here we have to define which layer is going to be used for the alignment of the uh, rafters. So I'm going to pick out the structural layer and then click OK. And now it's going to start generating, but we also need to uh, adjust the bird's mouth. Now here, we don't really have that, so I can just, just simply click OK. And then it's going to start its work and it's going to do, well, this. So currently we don't have much, but we can set up some of the properties to get our proper rafters. So let's go here to the properties and it's going to open up these properties here. Let's go to system properties. Now we only have the fascia board, so I'm just going to click on that. And then here we want to go with a single. Uh, for the member uh, family, I'm going to go with this one. For the member type, let's go with this one. Uh, and configuration will be left at rich board and then let's click OK. Now here for uh, panels properties for the ledger here, I just want to keep it at single and then I'm just going to use the same size of dimension lumber that we used before. Same configuration and then let's click OK. And uh, we have a couple of panels here. So basically taking a look at this roof. It has one panel here, one panel on the other side. So what I'm going to do is just check apply changes to all panels and then I'm simply going to click OK. And as you can see it has generated all of the trust rafters for uh, this house. So all of the elements are now generated with just a few clicks. Now I do want to make one minor adjustment here. As you can see, I would like to add kind of a edge rafter here. So for that, let's switch to a top view. I'm going to zoom in, select this rafter, go to copy, CO as the shortcut, and then I'm simply going to copy this to the edge, hit the escape key a couple of times, and there we go. I, we now have a completed roof. Now everything here looks nice, however, when it comes to actually building this house, what we need is actual shop drawings. Luckily, with the MWF, we can generate those as well with just a couple of clicks. So in this case, let's go here back to the main menu, switch to the wall module, and then I'm just going to select one of the elements here. And when you select the element, basically you're indicating that you're going to be creating a shop drawing from the actual wall segment where that element is located or uh, where that element is a part of. So now I'm just going to go back here to MWF Pro Suite. Then I'm going to find the shop drawings, click on that. And here we're going to get this prompt asking us which title block we want to use for this. And I'm just going to pick out the uh, shop drawings A2, Balkan Architect, and then click OK. And it's going to do its work for a few seconds. And there we go, it's done. So now it has actually generated a shop drawing. So if we go down to sheets, we can see we have this panel 43 sheet. I can double click on that and it's going to open up that sheet. And as you can see, we have pretty much everything here. Let me just maximize this. There we go. So as you can see here, we have the uh, kind of elevation view or section view. We have the floor plan view and so on and so forth. We even have this 3D view 
and a table of all of the elements. We have the Balkan Architect logo, of course, and what you can see here is er everything that you can actually customize. So if you don't like this layout, you want to try something else, you want to put in a different logo, you want to just rearrange things, you can do all of that so everything is customizable. But then at the end of the day, once all of that customization is done, everything is just a couple of clicks and you've got framing for your entire house and you've got the shop drawings ready. Now, as I said, if you want to check out MWF Pro Suite, I'm going to include the link up in the cards above and then also down in the description, you can find the link and try it out for yourself. Stay tuned for our next video with Structsoft where we'll cover the LGS structures and talk more about key features, including coordination and fabrication. Thank you for watching. Please tell me in the comment section below if you have enjoyed this video and we'll be back in a few days with another Balkan Architect tutorial. Have a nice day.